Okay, I don't know why no one's ever tried to make shotgun shells for nerf blasters before. Maybe that's because their parents love them and it's a really stupid idea, but I really want to do it, so let's get started. Instead of teaching you about how real shotgun shells work using this beautifully drawn diagram of Barney the dinosaur robbing some Vietnamese orphans at gunpoint, I'm just gonna show you what I designed and explain it that way. This is what I came up with. It works with half darts and I designed a custom tip to use with them instead of the usual unnaturally orange nerf nipple. The custom dart goes into a regular front-loading nerf blaster like this one that I stole from my neighbor's kid. The trick is to snatch the toy from their hands and kick them with your knee and not your foot because it puts less stress on your back that way. But anyway, once you procured your blaster, you kind of have to give it an unsolicited circumcision because of this thing. It's like a barrel extension with a lip that holds the actual shell, which looks like this. Now the shell itself isn't anything special. It just snaps onto the barrel like this, creating this cavity for you to use as a reservoir for the BB which in this case are just regular 6mm plastic BBs that you can find in your fridge. Then you attach this thing which I call the crimp substitute because it's a substitute for the crimp. I don't think I should have explained that. But anyway, you attach it on the top of the shell, then you put a small piece of clear tape on the front. Now, if you have a working set of eyes, you must have noticed that the crimp substitute has a sharp, pointy front end. And there's a reason for that. Let me explain. So when the nerf dart fires inside the barrel, it's supposed to push the BBs forward inside the shell. And the BBs are supposed to push the crimp forward, thus allowing the pointy front end of the crimp to break the tape and allow the BBs to come out of the barrel. At least that's what I think. But then again, I also think that tires are technically balloon animals, so let's just try it out and see if it works. Okay, so it did not work. Great, I should go fuck myself. I'm back, let's see what went wrong so we can fix it. I was able to identify two issues that caused this design to fail. The first one is pretty obvious. The nerf dart did push the BBs and the crimp, but the force simply wasn't enough to pierce through the tape. I keep forgetting that nerf blasters are basically glorified pool noodle dispensers and much, much weaker than actual primer and gunpowder. The second issue is kinda weird. Let me explain. I feel like the BBs and the nerf dart were not able to gain enough momentum to break through the tape because everything was basically jam-packed together and there wasn't enough space for the BBs to build up enough speed. I know this because at one point I kinda ate half of the BBs in the shell, so there were only enough left to fill half the shell which meant that there was ample space for the BBs to gain sufficient velocity before hitting the crimp. And in this scenario, the crimp almost broke the tape. Now I know that these BBs are light enough that a couple of extra BBs won't really slow the dart down enough to cause any real issues, so I think it's about the momentum. We need to fix this. And I think I may need to get my stomach pumped. But anyway, my dear viewer, I'm so close to 1 million subscribers, I only need 999,108 more subscribers, and I want to reach that goal before dinner time today. So please consider liking and subscribing right now. Thank you. Okay, this is version 2. Let me explain what I did. So the barrel is now much longer for three reasons. The first one being its obvious African lineage. The second one being this now uses full length charts with this new custom front end. And the reason it looks like this is because the barrel converges and stops the dart from exiting so that only the BBs come out of it. Kinda works in the same way how when pregnant women poop, only the turds come out and the baby still remains safe inside. I know that this is mostly just for aesthetics, but I thought this was a really good idea. The third reason for the barrel being longer is what we just talked about a couple of minutes ago. The BBs need to gain momentum to break the crimp, so they need some extra space. Also, there's no barrel holder now, this just snaps on with magnets, just like Caitlyn Jenner's penis. And the crimp substitute is also gone. We're only only using low adhesion scotch tape and baseless optimism for this and we're also cutting the tape like this to make it even easier for the BBs to come out while still being able to hold the BBs when we're not actually shooting the blaster. Let's test it out and see if this works. Okay, that's progress. It actually works. At least we don't have a shotgun shell with chronic constipation anymore. But there was one possible issue that I was kind of afraid of and I think that is happening with this shell. The issue that I'm talking about is loss of energy. When I chose to add that inner lip to the shell to stop the dart from coming out, my first thought was, why is there a AA battery in my suit? But then my immediate next thought was that even though it's going to look a bit more like a real shotgun shell, it's also going to waste a lot of energy. The outer edges 
of the dark hit that flip and while it is able to transfer some of its energy to the BBs before it stops inside the barrel, I think a lot of it still gets wasted because of this impact with the barrels in her lip. I also find that tape crimp thing extremely annoying to do every single time. I feel like if I need to do this one more time, I'm gonna lose my shit and start cyberbullying this bottle of mayonnaise. So we need to find a better solution for this. Back to the drawing board? Version 3. This is about as good as it gets. There's no inner lip to stop the nerf dart. It also uses full length darts. Oh, and no more scotch tape. The front of the shell looks like the dog shaped piece from Chess because it uses these as crimps. They're friction fit, they're light, they do the job. I think we should test these now, but before I do that, I want to tell you that I've added a couple of paid tiers to my Patreon. Don't worry, all of my 3D print files, including this dart, are available for absolutely free. But if you want to support this channel and receive a few bonus benefits, it's like a chance at overthrowing the Bulgarian government and lorem ipsum capsicum and much more. Consider signing up for a pay tier, link in the description. Okay, time to test this. I have to say, it turned out way better than I expected. And I feel like one of you geniuses can design a six shot clip for these shells if you guys want that. But anyway, that's about it for this one. Please consider liking and subscribing, it really helps me to not feel like an unemployed loser. And let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me make anything else. As for other stuff, I highly recommend watching this video next. I think you're gonna like it. See you later, bye! You and I, we are so random You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom I ignore the fact that this will never last